Hi everybody, it's been a while and this is why we are back to Feed the Beast and we have been waiting for the versions of Feed the Beast that are based on Minecraft 1.5.2 This is the brand new Feed the Beast Unleashed mod pack um, It's got some different stuff in it to the old uh, Feed the Beast Ultimate pack uh, there's no red power anymore, but there's a few new things that we didn't have before. Just show you quickly down the list. For instance, there's like Biblio Woods for biomes of plenty. Um, there's obviously updated versions of some of the older stuff as well. Dark Craft, it's got some interesting stuff in that. Den pipes. Forge micro blocks. You know, just a few. These, I'm not reading them all out, just uh, some of the ones that stick out. But um, T uh, Tinker's Construct. few other bits in there so what we're going to do is we're going to make this probably an extra long special episode um going to create a brand new world and we are going to call this unleashed game mode survival more world options world type default uh looks like they haven't got bones of plenty turned on uh it must have a bug um Allow cheats off. We will turn the bonus chest on just out of curiosity to see what's in it and to speed things up at the start. Um, and seed wise, we will just leave it blank so it's random. And let's create that new world. Well, this may take a while, so I will pause the video quickly. Alright, uh, we're back and I've turned the sound down. Sorry the sound was a bit loud in the menus there. I forgot where this is a new installation that I haven't actually adjusted the settings yet. Should probably do some stuff with the video settings as well. We'll set that to normal. We'll leave that as fancy and we'll turn the brightness up because it's always better for videos. And let's get back to the game. That's a strange looking tree. Now where's our bonus chest then? Bonus chest. Lots of cows. Might have to kill the cows in a second. Especially as we seem to have an invisible bonus chest. Cows, have you seen a chest around here? It's usually got like four torches around here. Uh, there you go. So let's see what we get that's different. Uh, force mitts. Oh yeah, not enough items is set to cheat mode by default in that, so we switch that to recipe mode. Um, these force mitts are great because they work like a super fast tool. Um, not against everything, obviously, only certain things, uh, but they're fantastic to use as. An axe, um, you can't use them as a sword, so if I attack this cow, it won't actually do anything. Um, so we're going to need to get a sword together, so we need to create a bit more planks wise. And chuck that down, and then create a wooden sword for now. Get ourselves some leather and steak. That up. Grab this tree because it's right here. Also gets us some coca beans. Avoid that oil type looking stuff. Oh no, it's okay, it's safe. Um, I think we should attack this tree because I don't know what it is. And I'm not saying you should always attack something if you don't know what it is. It's a bit different in Minecraft to real life, guys, so keep that in mind. We use some uh, jungle wood to get ourselves up higher. And keep going. It's 
So yeah, this is going to be, I hope, um, the fact that it's got the 1.52 features and it's a different set of mods, it's going to be quite a different experience to any of the Feed the Beast uh, playthroughs we've done before. I'm hoping this one will last a bit longer as well because I've uh, come in just after the packs have come out. Is this a different type of cactus? Gives fruit after a rainstorm. That'd be interesting to have around our base then. Would it? Should we grab a bit more of this? Um, if you guys have got any more experience with these new Feed the Beast packs, then uh, let me know if you've got any tips, obviously. Because I don't even know what some of these new mods do, um, except from uh, the ones that it shares with Hexit. There's a few mods uh, that it seems to share with Hexit, which is a cool thing, definitely. And let's just keep heading in a random direction, and we have found ourselves our first village. And it's got a blacksmith. I can also hear it on me. Probably needs to light the bug. It is on the outside. I'm not sure where you came from. Then, Mr. Wooden swords are terrible. <laughs> That's got to be the fastest I've ever died on a new Minecraft file. I was not paying attention to my health at all. Oh. I feel like an absolute idiot now. It's been a while since uh, I've just gone straight up and attacked something with a wooden sword and no armor. You have to forgive my uh, noobishness there, guys. Grab all our stuff back. We we'll have that latest death thing there mocking us, which is awesome. And what have we got in here? We've got four shard, claws, bread, tin, and copper. We'll take the chest as well. Oh, wow, do we need some food? Really just got around some stuff, really. surely a village but it does appear possibly because it's a desert village but desert villages usually still have food there is no food in this one let's grab some of this blaze powder there is no food i'm gonna have to stop sprinting for now then guys um we might have to mine soon to upgrade our tools as well because I'm not that happy walking around with wooden tools. Let's head over towards the snowy biome because there'll probably be cows. Stop sprinting John. And yeah I'm talking to myself, what of it guys. Grab the sugar cane. See cows is what we're after. And then once this sword's broke, we'll make a stone one. No. 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 So obviously we get some stone for uh making a furnace with as well. Get a bit more wood uh, for charcoal purposes before we get coal. Any more cows close by? No, fine then let's start getting rid of some of the stone. See these force mitts work really well on plain stone as well. I'm not sure if it'll work with that amber there. It doesn't look like it works that well on that so we won't risk it. stone to make a few oh we could have just used the ones in the uh, blacksmith oh well let's 
let's make a couple of things. Oh, I need some more sticks first. I forgot that I haven't actually made sticks yet. So, let's do that. And two of those. Two of those. Let's put that down there, that there. Um, some bread down in a hot bar, and then we'll head back to the, our village. It's uh, We're not going to live there because it's, it's a tiny village in the desert, so uh, what we'll do is we'll just set up camp there temporarily. Temporarily. Still beehives everywhere, so that's not changed. Overkill with the four smiths there. <laughs> Should just use uh, anything to smash those. And we're nearly back to town now. Wow, it's a little village, at least. And we set our shop in this place. Just chuck a couple more torches in it. Actually, no, we should be alright for torches. So we uh, move this block of wood out of the way. We never did check what those strange blocks are. Amaranth, heart of wood. Fair enough. Place that down. This place has got two doors. So must have a oh, I see. I see. It's got some apries out back. Sorry, blacksmith, we're pinching your fern eye. We'll chuck those down there. Use the wooden sword at first to cook up some of that steak. Eat some bread. Let's place our double chest down somewhere. Trying to save on room, so we we'll put part of it in that corner. I know it doesn't look good, but it's it makes a very odd colour wood. That stuff does. It's got some junk wood as well. Let's put everything in a chest for now, and then we can take out just what we need. I'm going to use these four smiths. I know they're not too hard to make, so it's okay. some more torches so we will do this not the best way to make torches oh in fact we need, we need logs to make charcoal see i hardly ever make charcoal anymore so forget these things and you can't do it with those logs so that's a bit of a problem we're gonna have to go mining with only four torches to start with I'm going to start a little mine in here, but the problem being is we've got a villager in here and I don't want them to follow us down. Um, we just have to risk it. It's not like this is going to be a permanent village for us anyway. Let's head on down and see what we can find. Alright, so we've got some copper here. You can see the four smiths are no good for copper. It's already starting to get a bit dark, but we'll place one torch and hopefully we'll find some coal any minute. Did I just knock that torch down, seriously? Grab this. Back. Do you need an iron pickaxe for this? I really can't remember. I'm going to take that as a yes. Damn it. Oh well. Getting somewhere, guys. Though we're getting somewhere. Some tin, probably. I think. Um, not entirely. 
entirely sure. I'm not used to using default texture pack for Feed the Beast. Uh, but obviously there isn't a texture pack for this uh, Feed the Beast mod pack yet. We've got zombie company. I was hoping to avoid that, but... I get far enough down. Head on back down. And we miss some copper here. Saw that on the way back up, didn't we guys? I mean, hopefully we'll find a cave or something a bit more interesting, but just some coal for now would be nice. I'll probably close this off after we finish. Uh, it's only a temporary thing. Oh, I really can't. You can. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Because we can use those to make a really nice pickaxe for now. It's not the best use for them, but uh, until we've got a lot else, it's a good idea, really. We're mining, we're mining, we're mining, and finding nothing that we're up to. We seriously need some coal soon, guys. soon. Ah, iron's always good. I'm going to need a iron or better to mine that as well. And it's getting too dark again already. Go up near one of these higher up torches and see if we can just mine to try and find some coal anywhere nearby. Try and keep close to the torch to keep the area lit up. Oh, come on. Never had this much trouble finding coal before. Take all day doing it like that. Um, change of plan, change of plan. Chuck all this stuff in there, get those sticks out. Close. ourselves a nice pickaxe now. So we can grab a few things from down here, just grab that. Just grab these few things and then we move on and get into a cave or something hopefully. Probably hard to make out for you guys, I'm sorry. It's just uh, my lack of torches that's the problem. Head on back up, we have to eat some more bread already, see, we're low on, running low on food. We have to use planks to cook. 
the rest of that beef. Take that stick first. Put that in there. Put that in there. There's a cave out the back here. Just checking that out. Oh, shard, shard. We don't need that. Excuse me, Mr. Butcher. Seriously. Oh, we got a blue slime. Skeleton somewhere as well. You shot me into the pack, die. You. Oh. I'm getting bullied. <laughs> and getting my ass kicked because I can't even afford to make any armor yet. Well, I suppose I could if I if I use this jungle wood to smell. How much iron have we got? Six. Not really then, but it's a start. Forgot that we'd be playing with 1.52 skeletons as well now. See, this is the problem. We'll take four hits with a stone sword. Any coal? Please have some coal. Yes! Coal, my friend. I love you. We have searched far and wide for you. Two blocks. It's a start, guys. but you know eight is more than the zero that we have. Let's get back down here. Need some more iron or anything that we can make good armor out of would be nice. That's all our bread gone. Really gonna have to get out of this village soon and look for food elsewhere. I can hear lava, which is both a good and bad thing. Hopefully it means there's a cave nearby here somewhere. Or some lava directly below where we were gonna mine. Find a safe way down. Doesn't look like it. Probably gonna fall straight in lava. Yeah. Right down. Red 
Steinland.com. Crazy times. build a nice safe bridge. I hate doing this even though I'm crouching. Still feels weird. What's that? What are you? You seem very interesting to me. shards first. This iron, this is what we're after. Well, we're after coal, but iron's quite high up on our priorities as well. Well, we got it. What is it, is the question. Is it tin or berry bush? Fair enough. Um, we can grow those, so that's a good thing. Oh, we got coal up here as well, I didn't see that. That's good, doesn't look like there's much else in this cave. So we'll keep continuing going down. We're getting somewhere. We are definitely getting somewhere. So I'm sorry, you know, this is what the first episode of any new series is like, really, guys. I mean, uh, I could just pause and stuff, but some people like to watch all this mining and uh, kind of uh, starting off a new world. So I'll put this episode up and I'll call it episode zero. Um, and if you don't like watching the first in a series where you're just mining and stuff, then, um, you know, this is probably not the video for you. How much coal do we get? We've got four. Yeah, we're definitely just going to abandon this place and uh, go somewhere else. This break we'll never grab enough coal to actually smelt all this stuff with. And until we start smelting stuff, we're not gonna be able to make any of the new interesting stuff. Just chuck all this in here. Take those sticks out. Uh, we're gonna need some more sticks. Did I put the coal there as well? I did as well. that. No, I won't do that. I was going to make a shovel like that, but that's silly. Let's do the iron, if I can get to the fern eye. Let's go and kill that slime. Scourge me, the blacksmith. What am I doing? I can't get out that way anymore. Drop anything. Ah. Hmm. It's a shame that uh, these new Feed the Beast packs aren't based on uh, 1.6. We got the villager sounds and stuff. I do love the villager sounds. Right, so that's enough to make our chest. That's a good start. A bit of protection is better than none. We should have enough for a helmet as well. Hopefully.
hopefully. No, that's got to be boots then. It'll do for now. Um, I don't know what to leave here and what to take with us. I think I'm going to leave most of that stuff here actually. We'll come back for it. Actually, no, just in case we don't come back here, let's take all the good stuff. Let's take that because uh, I've never had that before. Take the bones, definitely take the leather. Take that, take the strange wood. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that, take that. We're not leaving much, that's for sure. Um, take those. And take those. We can go without the rest of that stuff, really. Should have made a better sword before we went adventuring again, but oh well. We might not have much daylight left anyway, so we might not get far. We might have to run on back here. Um, can we get the map up? Ah. What's the map key? No, why did I press Q for? We all know what Q does. That was just plain silly. Let's just head in this general direction. I wish we could get the map up there. I'm going to have to look up to find out what the map key is. Or maybe they've disabled it so you can't use it as a really easy reference for finding your way around. Interesting looking biome. Some nice trees. Do not bring it any out. <laughs> or a crafting table. Oh, John. Whenever you're making videos, you turn into a complete nutty world. Strange wood that much, I don't think it is. You may think it's mental because it's dark and it's raining and I'm out, but we've still got hardly any armor and a stone sword, but I just want to get to a nicer area. I can always find our way back to that stuff if we really wanted it. There was nothing there that was that important anymore. This way looks promising. Don't think that great the tree's got any spider webs in it, so there won't be any treasure under that one. I just realised I didn't take any burn eye with me either. But there you go. I'll be playing to fail today. I'm just going to avoid that skeleton. It's going to push me into the water. I haven't got a shovel to collect gravel with. Really. Surface lava. This is a highly shadowed area because of the trees. Hoping to find like a plains bone or something would be nice. There's a lot of bad stuff down there. I know this is a bit coward-like avoiding all the mobs guys, but I don't like fighting with anything below an iron sword unless I really have to. Can 
I make it through the night? That's the question. Should I just hold up somewhere? Where's the fun in that? I quite like playing avoid the mobs. Kind of like a open world Pac-Man. But you've never heard anyone describe Minecraft that way. If it's night time and you're trying to avoid mobs, Pac-Man. There you go. Oh, we're gonna have to get too close to the skeleton. I don't like that. Come on, planes by. Very much doubt we're gonna go back for that stuff in that other village now. Um. But oh well. Just narrowly avoided that creeper explosion there. Trying to avoid this skeleton. This might be promising. Might have somewhere. Here, guys, looks like it might be joining onto a plane. Otherwise known as a big open area to get ourselves killed in. Chest and iron boots, I should be doing something. Village! I love you, village! I love you so much right now. Might be able to find some sheep by shoon and be able to make a bed for this next night. Let's go up and grab stuff from chest in here though. Uh, if we had room for it, that is. Stay in this village anyway when we come back for that stuff. So, me being the absolute monkey that I am, I left that other crafter table behind. So I'm going to have to go and grab this chest because I need some of the chuck stuff in. Stuff that we haven't got in the uh, chest. chest. Right, so let's get the chest. Join these together and make one big house actually. Or completely screw up.
to make an enemy. Start getting a bit organised. First things first, we're going to definitely need a bit more wood. Then we have to start gathering up all this stuff and putting it in the chests. Got room on us for wood? No, we haven't. So where's the house that I chose? This one? No, but I might move to that one because it's nice and big. There's another one of those there. Bit of a major lag spike there, guys. Sorry about that. Is it gonna stop? Oh my god. It's going to be a bit of a bump along episode guys, but I'm sure it'll probably say that in the title, so uh, you won't be watching it if you're not expecting that. trying to avoid people. Especially as my sword just broke. So I will be able to make one in a second with some of that Tinker's Construct stuff, hopefully. Once we've gathered it all together. That'll be enough wood for now. Just get that apple. Is there no... What's going on? There's no... Well, there's barley, which you can use to make uh, bread as well, by the way, guys. So I'll let you know about that. I don't know what it is. And there's fruit bushes. But there's no farms around this village either, I've just realised. How many it took me that long to realise? But yeah, there must be something that they decided to remove in this mod pack, which is rather odd. Half of that into planks. Um, 
how many chests should we make? Let's go for. We didn't completely bugger that up, that is. Let's go for three chests. And that gives us enough to make two double chests. So we got one and then two. Let's put everything in here for now. We'll sort all that in a minute. I just want to keep gathering everything together. Probably left it too late to come back and collect this stuff now. I was a bit of an idiot with that. Yep, that's despawned. So, complete fail on my part there. I just completely forgot until just then. Right, let's start gathering up the stuff in these places. So, we got some nice bits here. Pattern chest has got a lot of patterns in it as well. But we'll probably grab pattern chests in a minute. Um, where was the other one of these? It was joint. Was it round the back here? Well, we can make a pan at least. <laughs> As some sort of weapon for now. There's a load of patterns in there as well. We'll move some of these tables. for the tables. And the piston as well, why not? And the chest. And we'll come back for the pattern chest. Some other point. chest in here but there's a couple of pages ravines and ravines again let's grab some books not the safest of little houses I've ever here with this sort of weird double house but we'll take that as well just get rid of all this stuff just to clear out room because we're at this as our temporary house for a while and then uh, after we got a nicer house set up we're uh, fixed this village and the villagers can have it back just gotta remember that one in the corner is the crafting table and these ones are as a book binder Right, I know this is a bumper episode, but it's got to end somewhere. I think this is a good place to end it, because we started to get the basics set up. Um, in the next episode, we will start creating some more tools and weapons, and then we'll start doing some proper caving, and gathering some better gear together in general, and then we'll start looking at some of the new mods. Alright, if you like this at all, please give me a like. It helps more than you could possibly ever imagine. Subscribe if you want to see lots more Minecraft content. Take care all, and keep crafting.